Hi everyone, it's the month of December. It's a joyful time of year, but also a very stressful time of year. So I thought it would be great for the month of December to provide videos for you that are simple to do and will help you decrease your stress levels, improve your immune system, as well as your overall well-being. I asked life coach and yoga instructor, Stephanie Noyes, to create a yoga video for us to lengthen your body, bring blood flow to your tissues, decrease your stress level, and improve your immune system. Let's get started. My name is Stephanie Noyes. I am a yoga instructor and a personal trainer, kind of like an accountability coach. Um, I'm gonna lead you through your own mind practice day so that when you, kind of at the end of the day, or maybe even just the end of the work day, um, you wanna just decompress and just stretch out and um, just allow your mind just to kind of simply be and just shut down for a few moments. We're gonna stretch out the hips a little, the hamstrings a little, and a little rinsing for the side body as well. So we're going to come on to our yoga mat. If you know that you like to have blocks or anything handy, you can have them just so that way there, if you need to reach for them, they'll be there for you. So we're actually going to make a little teepee here. And you're going to take your feet to their about hip slip distance or mat slip distance. Your knees are going to knock in towards one another. And then you're going to reach the arms up overhead. Take a moment to lift the shoulder blades up and then just nestle them together behind the heart. Allow the backs of the hands to press into the ground. Feel free to go really wide if you need to, if your shoulders are tight. And maybe just let the eyes close. And just give yourself permission to just let the thoughts kind of come and go. Just letting that kind of busyness just sort of seep through you. Just start to watch instead of trying to figure out, right? So you become the active observer of your body. If it doesn't feel comfortable to close your eyes just yet, maybe just soften your gaze. And just take a moment to be clear about just cleansing out the breath. And maybe just imagining that your exhales are just a way to release any excess that you might be carrying with you. moment to just recognize the connection of the earth underneath you and that sense of lightness in the air around you. And just start to feel the rising and falling of your chest and belly as you breathe in and out. So hold that in just a little tiny bit of movement. So take a big breath in and as you exhale, you're just going to allow your knees to drop over to your left side. And then as you inhale, you pull yourself through center. And as you exhale, over to the right side. So just a simple little windshield wipering of the legs. Come through center. Drop them over to the left. You might feel some slight release in the outer hips. And then come through center and go over to the right. Now the next time you pass yourself through center, we drop over to the left. And we'll just pause for a moment or two. Keeping the legs staggered if that works for you, or maybe even just stacking the knees. I like to be staggered, it just feels nicer in my hips. And if you wanted to add on here, you could perhaps reach the right arm up overhead so you get really long along your side body. And then we'll just go ahead come through center, reset that little TP for a moment, and then drop the knees over to the other side. And then same thing here, just kind of letting the knees settle and maybe reaching that right, or excuse me, left arm up overhead. And just feeling a little bit more expansion along your side waist. And just be really deliberate about just watching your breath. You may notice that you've already started thinking again, or if you try to just envision that excess, all those thoughts, just as the ocean waves, right, moving in and out. Just constant ebb and flow. And then we just pull it through center. And we'll pull both of our knees in towards our chest. Just give yourself a little squeeze. Maybe making some gentle circles with the knees, either keeping the toes together or letting the feet separate. Just the movement of the hips, three or four circles in one direction, and then three or four circles in the other direction. Now, making your way to neutral, hang on 
onto your right shin and just stretch your left leg long. Just gently guide the right knee towards the right shoulder. And feel free to move as much or as little as you need to. Remember, there's no right, there's no wrong. Just feel a subtle activation of your left leg as your toes peel back towards your feet. Here, we'll slide into a figure four. So bend your left knee, clench your foot, take your right ankle, make sure it's beyond your thigh, and just gently press your right knee away from you. And just dorsiflex, so press out through your heel, and just breathe. So for some of you, if you have tighter hips, this might be where you stay and you just breathe. Or you could pick up that left foot, interlace at your shin or your hamstring, whatever feels most comfortable. And then check in with the head, neck, and shoulders. Try to relax. I always like a little gentle pulsing in this particular pose just to find a little more release in the outer hip. And then remember, it takes about 30 seconds or so for the muscles in the brain to communicate. So just be patient with yourself. Just try not to force a stretch. And then from here, we'll take our left foot down to the floor. We're going to scooch the hips over to the right and just drop everything over to the left. So you just tip that little shape over. Hold on to your right ankle with your left hand and then reach the right arm away from you. And if you wanted to, you could just gently encourage the right knee to move away from you. You might feel a little release in the inner thigh and the outer hip. And try to relax the back of the shoulder down. And just breathe. Slow, steady, and deliberate breath. And paying attention to where you feel your breath most. And try to just steady the mind's eye there. And then we'll just go ahead, drag ourselves through center, under your legs, take a quick little full body stretch, arms and legs in opposing directions. And then we'll go ahead and pull the left knee in. Interlacing at your shin. And the same thing on the side, maybe just a little side to side action. And then just trying to peel your toes back towards your face. And just try to relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. stretch, take the right foot to the earth, cross the left shin on top, just clear that ankle bone, gently encourage or just press the left knee away from you. If this is enough sensation for you, you just stay here and just simply breathe. And if you have a little further to go, then you reach through and hold on to your shin or your hamstring, and pulsing or a little side, side sway, whatever is going to feel nice and give you the most sense of release. Just try to find clench your jaw, try to soften your brow. And we'll come into that little that tipped over figure four shape. So taking the right foot to the earth. Just a little scooch of the hips over to your left. Drop everything over to the right. And just gently hold on to your ankle and then reach that left arm up overhead. If it's too intense, right, just back off. All right, no reason to try and struggle here. I want you just to relax. And just allow the sensations in the body to kind of come and go. And just try to find a 
smooth, steady rhythm with breath. And just welcoming this opportunity just to slow down for a moment or two. Just back ourselves out of that stretch, extending the legs long and taking the arms all the way up overhead. And final little pose is going to be a banana shape, so you're going to walk both of your feet over to your left and reach both of your arms up overhead to your left. So try to keep the back of the right shoulder down. Maybe gently drop the ear towards the shoulder and try to keep the back of the right hip on the ground. And then maybe even crossing the ankle. If you would like to. This is one of those poses that kind of sneaks up on you, so you might notice just some gentle sensation along your side body. And if it becomes intense and you cross your ankle, just undo it. relaxation or restorative type poses, it's just really important to just simply allow your body just to settle and just to breathe into the sensations you feel. Be really deliberate about sending your breath to the spaces that might need a little more room, a little more openness. The body does respond. Everything comes to center. Extend your spine, just kind of get long. And then we'll go over to the right side, reaching the arms up overhead, trying to let the back of the left shoulder come down. If you notice my elbows are pretty bent, I'm a little bit tighter, so that just works for my body. I'm going to try to weigh down this left hip, and then perhaps cross the ankles. Drop my ear towards your shoulder, and just breathe in. Letting the eye gaze be really fuzzy or soft. And as you breathe, just start to notice the tension and just sort of slip away from the body. to center. I kind of fit, I said last pose, but it really wasn't. This is a final little piece just to release the neck. So we're going to go ahead and take the hands behind the head. Let your legs be max width or a little wider. Just let the back of the head rest into the hands. And then I want you to lift your head up off the ground, including the shoulders, and then bring the elbows together. So I'm going to drop your chin to your chest. And just start to feel a nice release in the back of the neck. If it feels painful, you're going to lower down. If you feel like you have a little more to go, right, perhaps just turn the head. Remember, we're not pulling, you're just lifting up. Make sure you feel like a release all along the back of the neck. And just breathe. And if you're lucky enough not to have any tension in your neck, then it usually starts to take a nice lift for you. But most of us have a little tension there. And then we'll just slowly come on down. So try to go down with a sense of purpose, one vertebra at a time. Keeping the chin dry towards the chest. Let the back of the head come down to the ground. Let the arms release. And just take a moment here. Feel free just to linger in a Shavasana or corpse pose for a few moments, maybe with one hand on heart, one hand on belly. Just allowing yourself to just kind of absorb the benefits of this relaxing kind of unwinding practice. Kind of feel free to do this at the end of your day or before bedtime with the room dimly lit. I thank you for your attention and time. Namaste. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I encourage you to do the movements. This will allow you to lengthen your body, 
bring blood flow to your tissues, decrease your stress level, and improve your immune system. Small, consistent action steps reap great rewards. Remember, health is a choice. Choose to be alive and well.